Hi Sloan, I'm Rochelle. I'm going to be doing your facial today. Uh, before our facial, we usually start with the skin diagnostics. Here we're going to measure your water, oil, melanin, and elasticity. So what this is going to tell us is what condition your skin is in, and then we can design a facial around your skin type. Okay? So we're going to start with some questions. Let's measure here. Now how do you find your skin normally? Um, dry, oily. Um, sometimes it's dry. Sometimes it's dry. And do you drink at least a, like eight glasses of water a day? No. <laughs> well, water is important to drink um, at, and get it internally as well as putting it on the skin through your moisturizer, okay? So next we'll measure your oil. So same thing. Uh, we're going to measure four areas. From this reading here is that you do have a, a low oil, so you're more of a drier skin. Okay. All right, so next we're going to measure your pigmentation. Um, so we're going to start with a couple questions. Do you suffer from skin rashes on exposure to the sun? No. Do you have any moles that concern you? No. All right, so um, this is the treatment room where we're going to do the facial. So I'll just leave you and you can get all comfy inside. Uh, if you want to remove your robe, there's a cupboard right behind you. You can hang it up in, okay? Okay. So what do you start with with the facial? So we start with cleansing the skin. So we want to remove all the dirt and oil um, before we uh, are able to exfoliate and treat the skin. So do you do part of the neck as well, not just the face? Yes, yeah, so we do decollete, neck, and face um, in the facial. How does it feel? Good. <laughs> Are there certain areas we should pay more attention to when we're cleaning? Uh, no, you should cleanse the whole face the same. What about people with acne? Do they need to clean their skin any different? Um, no, they need to clean the same. They may need to use different kinds of products. Um, an acne skin type will need to use just a different kind of cleanser with maybe um, something more antibacterial in it. Um, but usually acne isn't a sign of, uh, it's not dirty skin, it's just uh, usually hormonal or something from the inside. So this is a hot towel. This is nice and warm under here to help cleanse off the uh, cleanser. So next we're going to exfoliate the skin. So it's just like a granular product and it's going to help remove the dead skin cells. How often should you do that? Um, exfoliation should be done two to three times a week. You just put your exfoliator in your shower and when you're in there, give it a little scrub. Is that important for the rest of the body too or just the face? Your skin renews itself every 32 days, so or in between 29 and 32 days, so you want to remove that dead skin. Um, it will come off on its own, but it doesn't come off evenly. So any kind of, like your spray tan or moisturizer that you put on won't go on evenly and won't penetrate the skin if you're not removing the dead skin cells. Do so you do your body two or three times a week or not as often? I would do it the same amount, yeah. What about the rougher parts of your skin, like the knees and elbows? Do you do the same to that? Um, yeah, you would exfoliate it the same, maybe spend a little bit more time, more attention there. Um, but usually it's pretty much the same. They're going to be rougher regardless, so you just want to do all even, uh, pretty well exfoliation. So sometimes when people get facial, so I do they put cucumbers in the face? Um, it's actually, cucumbers are cooling, so they're cold. Um, so people with puffy eyes or dark circles, it's going to help uh, calm the eyes down to relieve the puffiness. So that's why you see it on their eyes, like when they have a mask or something. Can you do things like this at home? Yeah, of course you can. Um, exfoliations, exfoliators are easy to find. Um, you just um, make sure they're not too rough for the face, but exfoliate. You can find a nice hydrating cream mask and put it on, and it's like you're having your own little facial at home. So it's the same for everyone. So we just apply the cream. And we like to make it nice and treat all the back. Uh, back of the shoulders and the upper back. So um, because Sloan has a drier skin type, we're going to do a hydrating cream mask. So it's just going to help replenish the waters and the oils in her skin. Um, so yeah, we're just going to apply that and we leave that on for about 10-15 minutes. So is there a different mask for different types of skin? 
Yes, so if somebody had oily skin, we would probably not you'd want to use a cream mask because um, it's got the oils in it. We'd want to use more of like a clay to help pull the oils out or any impurities or dried up a little bit. Um, and for normal skin, uh, we probably wouldn't use something as hydrating, but we'd still want to hydrate. Is it best to make like at least one visit to find the best way to take care of your skin? Yeah, it's good to go talk to somebody um, that knows uh, more about the skin and knows the products um, to see what you should be using. Um, usually you want to go um, when the seasons change because your skin is different in the summer than it is in the winter. Yeah, it's good to find out what your skin is like and what products you should be using because um, sometimes you could be using the completely wrong uh, stuff. Like a lot of young girls, um, I see here in the spa all the time, are using acne washes and things for acne all the time and they're actually drying their skin out when they already have a drier skin type and they're thinking well I'm getting some breakouts here I have oily skin but that's not usually the case um, hormones will give you breakouts uh, the food that you're eating so you should check with someone and see what product what your skin is like and what you should be using Does makeup bother your skin? Um, makeup? Uh, it can clog the pores depending on what you're using you usually want to use like a mineral makeup, something that's breathes. You don't want to put too much on because um, you can clog your pores and you'll find you'll get blackheads and things like that. But usually makeup's pretty good as long as you um, follow proper removal of it, like at the end of the day and not just keep it on, um, it should be fine. So what do you use to remove makeup? Um, for your face, you can just use your regular daily cleanser. Um, for the eyes, you want to use something that's uh, non-alcoholic because um, usually mascara is a little bit harder to take off um, so you want to use something different around the eyes because it usually won't come off but yeah. So do you have to treat the eyes differently than the rest of the skin? Um, for makeup remover, yes. Uh, when you get a little bit older you do want to start using an eye cream around the eye. Um, at your age, uh, a facial moisturizer is just fine um, but when you do get a little bit older an eye cream is best, yeah. What we're doing here is we're applying, I put an eye cream on her just because we are in the spa and that's the whole luxury. Um, but we put on the moisturizer and then she's good. And we're done. So Sloan, how do you feel? I feel great. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> See you later on Fit for Feast. Bye.